Here we are. <clears throat> so, um, we are in Broken Railroad, but I'm just trying to map the upper area. We got to the cabin last night and we looted it, but we haven't adventured around the area. Now, there was a couple of wolves, I believe, and a moose, like, in the lake. So, Yoda vibes? Do I have Yoda vibes? I got a furry, I got a furry jacket. <laughs> All right, fit check, right? Let's see what I got going on today. Did I go for the other hoodie? I'm actually pretty warm. This was nice. I got this as a gift. I have like a military coat that has a zipper, but since I had I had a pretty long beard before, like a foot, it would always get caught in the zipper. This one's got snaps. So <laughs> it's a little bit better. I'll be honest though, it's pretty warm right now. Now that I'm drinking my coffee. So maybe I'll just set that aside. I could go for the hoodie, but Bob's kind of rocking the hoodie, so I might let him have it. <laughs> oh, man. Food? I just have my coffee. I haven't, I haven't made any food yet. I have cans of coffee in the back. I do have food down here. Technically. Pumpkin seed and flax granola. Excellent source of a la omega-3 with a little cross symbol. I don't know what any of that is. I assume that's fish juice. Nah, omega-3 fatty acids, I'm generally aware. Interesting. Anything can be food if you're creative enough. Yeah, I remember hearing when I was younger about that guy who ate the whole airplane. That was pretty wild. I mean, you really got to push your limits, I guess, you know, to <laughs> feel satisfaction in life, maybe. I don't know why you would do such a thing. Maybe just to prove it. Maybe somebody told him he couldn't do it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't follow up on that story. I'm fairly sure it was accurate. This was before fake news was a thing. Are airplanes vegan? Um... Let's see, rubber is from trees. I'm sure there's, like, if you eat leather seeds, that's not vegan. It depends, I guess. I don't know. If you consider that airplanes kill birds in their intakes for engines and stuff, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe if it's never taken off. Um. Oh, and let's not forget if it burns oil, that's derived from animals mostly. Or is it plants mostly? Possibly derived from ancient animals. I don't know. <laughs> oh man um okay so where were we broken railroad yeah that's what I'm, that's what we're doing yeah different planes i'm sure that animals are harmed in the process of making the metals it's like cereal has bug parts in it you know not really vegan but what are you gonna do like little animals get ground up same with if you use yeast, right? Is that an animal? Or is that just a fungus? Is a fungus animal? You can eat mushrooms, right? I don't know what vegan really is. I don't really know. Even though I kind of eat vegan a lot. But that's just because my body doesn't tolerate certain animal stuff right now. Alright. Right, so we're in Broken Railroad. <laughs> We're trying to finish exploring this cabin. I think there was like one cabinet that I needed to loot. Let's check it out. It was this one. And it's just got some clothes in it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, a couple of shirts. I don't know what else might be around here, but I know there's a moose outside. I wouldn't worry too much about it. One of those ancient sages was like... Don't worry so much about what goes into your body. Worry more about what comes out. Or was it, was that Jesus? Was that Jesus? He said something about like, don't worry what you put in your mouth, what comes out is more important. Um, I don't know. Is he considered a sage? Maybe, maybe not. Do I not have another place for papers? Where am I throwing my newspapers? I usually have a little trash bin. I don't see one. I guess they all go in the same bin. 
Now I know I have one. Alright, I stopped carrying. Ooh, what's in here? Matches? Let's go. Alright, they can go here. There's lots of stuff in this place. Crates, boxes, planks. If I had a hatchet, do I have a hatchet? Currently, no. Also, sort from sort from Z to A. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that timer command. Oh yeah, I have ropes. I'm supposed to do stuff with these. Um. Right, let me drop off these matches, and then we'll go explore a little bit. 84%. Those will last a while. So we did find a new rifle in this uh, cabin. Yeah. <laughs> I like exploring. So there were wolves all over here before, but while they're still spawning in, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. Look at some vehicles. Grab some batteries. Not seeing a lot in this car. Check the front seat. Uh, dashboard. I see newspapers. I don't need those, though. Save it for later. There's a wolf. Just saw him out on the lake. He just saw me. Cool. I should be able to make it back into the house without the wolf touching me. Oh, I need water? Okay. I've been neglecting Astrid. <laughs> oh, I don't have much water at all, actually. So I need to map this area, which I could possibly do from inside this car. I guess I'll just... No, maybe I'll find more soda. Let's see. Did we search all the things? Did I search these yet? Turns out, no, I did not. Memento key. All right, let's read the message. Reminder, don't forget to check Dan's Don's lockbox. Where's that? Oh, that's way back there. Okay, so this is probably coming around from this side. Okay. So there's another thing for me to get on the way out. Um, where's that wolf? There he is. So the weather's not, what I'd say, cooperating. Dude, that wolf went flying. So there is a moose out here, possibly. I don't know. I don't see it. Um, I guess as long as we're not too cold... Gonna move this battery closer to the house. Eh, maybe I'll put it here. This would be like the spot for act. Actually, that's where sticks go. Fire right here, sticks right here. Yeah, kind of gross out. I could map possibly. I could pick up acorns. I'm gonna go for sticks for the moment. Oh, maybe I should deploy that rope. Okay, let's do that. I know I want that rope there. And then there's another one. So I'm hoping that there's a third rope in like the cave back there or something because these two ropes have homes already. I didn't find any soda, so I'm gonna go ahead and drink the water. I might wanna just make a fire and start cooking some water. We did get, so this has a nice stove. Ooh, do I have extra cans on me? I didn't bring any cans. I guess it's a good thing I found a cooking pot. <laughs> do I have food? I could. I could cook the peaches, or just eat the peaches. I've got this, I've got the tomato soup. That's three more cans, if I wanted to use them. I don't really want to use them right now. All right, I should have enough warmth to go deploy a rope. Yeah, that wolf took off super fast. He's got super speeds. I think I can hide behind this rock and not be too cold from the blizzard. 
Let's find out if that's true or if I'm a big fat liar. Eh. Let's give it a shot. Maybe. I can't select. There we go. Actually, we're not losing heat that fast. Cool. Dude, that deer looks like it has such a long neck. Okay. Just the angle. Um, so if we go down here, I want to bring the other rope. It's getting worse. There's, um, there's another climb, apparently, that goes into a little ravine that might have a guy with a weapon and a dead wolf. Um, and then once I clear that ravine, I can take that rope back with me. And then if I... So there's this, this area back here, right? There's a lake. There's a lake here, or a pond, whatever you want to call it. And so there's a cave if I go further back that way. And then there's, like, a skinny little area that goes across, and then I'll need a rope to climb down. Peekaboo. Hey, you're being, you're on candid camera. Dude, candid camera is everywhere now. Not the show, but the fact that it's not even novel anymore to have a camera on you. <laughs> All right, so getting a little bit chilly. Did I find anything cool that I should drop off? A bandage, ooh. I'll need that later, most likely. What else we got? Clothing, nope. Food. I think we found some food. I don't remember. An extra flare. Yeah, I don't need these. I can save those for later. Our whetstone is looking pretty rough. How much coal am I carrying? Four? Oh, I never did map anything. I guess once we warm up, I'll map some more stuff. And while it's light out, I might as well go downstairs and break something down to warm up. I don't know what. Maybe this chair. An hour? Sure. Whatever. I'll do it. We're not using that chair for anything. Nobody's sitting up there. Oh, that's where I put them. Might as well consolidate. Perhaps this will be the mental note that I will actually remember. I forgot that I put the papers in this bucket. Or bin. Or whatever this is. Drawer. Let's see what the game calls it. It is a drawer. A drawer. Sometimes spelling doesn't make sense. I don't know if you ever noticed that. So we do have the second rope I could possibly go for. See, the only thing is if I decide I'm going to go... Well, I could bring more water back. Hmm. Hmm. What am I wearing? I don't need to bring anything back with me. I can leave everything in that cabin. So I could go ahead and climb this rope. And then go for the second one. I haven't mapped anything, though. Maybe I should map while I'm up here. Unless he has a Polaroid down there. Ooh. Also, the weather's kind of... My brain's all over the place right now. Let's put on the crampons. Let's take it one step at a time. Figuratively and literally. Now, I should have killed everything that's down here. Also, the bear cave should be this one that we found that cache in. I looked at the map the other... I don't know, yesterday night or something like that. I was like, I was like, where where did that bear come from? It should be this cave on the right. But we didn't see any bones in there. So it kind of left me scratching my head. I'm not sure. Was that ptarmigan? I think that's just my gear plunking around. Yeah, this cave right here should be the bear cave. Now, I'm not too worried that there's a bear because we killed one. But, um, it's weird that I didn't see any bones, or maybe they're beside it somewhere. Maybe they're around the corner. Yeah, there's, like, nothing in here. That looks weird. A chunk of mountain poking through there. Totally different color. But, yeah, I don't see any bones. So, I don't know if that happens when you kill the bear. Does it, like despawn the bones because usually they're still there whether or not the bear is Ooh, yeah allergies that should be like a i know people have done like vegan playthroughs where you don't eat any animal derived stuff um 
I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't be goofing around too much in the cold, though. I should move on. Also, now that we're done with that, put this back on. Warm, our yeah, warm ourselves up. Last time I was over here, there was a wolf. So maybe I do grab that torch. So I'm just kind of wandering around picking up sticks. Somewhere along this wall, there's going to be a drop-off in a ravine area. And the only way to get down there is a rope climb. And so I'm carrying a rope. There's a dead dude. There's a bridge. I know it's not that far. It's probably right here. Yep, good thing I brought the rope. There isn't one on this rock. It would have been kind of funny if there was already one there. I would have been looking silly. Alright, am I in the... No, I need to find a spot that's kind of in the... There we go. Alright. It's kind of warm out. It's about noon. So the weather's turning to be turning out to be alright. That's a long climb. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a cave down there? Do I have my bearskin bedroll? Okay, I can sleep. I also have an emergency stim to get back up. So, go ahead and put on the crampons so we don't waste too much energy getting down there. Um, yeah, okay. We're gonna make the climb. We might have to stop on... Ooh, there's, um... There's ledges. I don't think I'm gonna stop on a ledge on the way down. I'm gonna save that wood for the climb back up. And I don't know whether to expect any predators down here. I've never been in this area. <laughs> yeah, they could make it a setting in the game to have, like, an allergy or something. Or, like, allergy possibility. And you don't find out until you have the food. <laughs> that would be wild. I mean, I don't really want to leave anything behind down here. Because I don't see the point in coming back. Did I have anything ready? Do you think there are wolves down here? There's something dead over there. Weather's not nice enough to have crows right now, but I see a body. Yeah. It's a wolf. This can be a feather farm. Maybe I'll leave that rope there. I can come back and... Apparently this is a rather tasty wolf, because there's four feathers, so... He's a good feather farm. There's a cattail, a couple of cattails. If I leave the rope there, I might as well come back down for those at some point. I don't need them right now. Um, I would hope there would be some sort of cave down here so that you could rest up, but maybe there wouldn't be. Hey, there's our uh, hatchet we were looking for. So now we can break down everything at the uh, cabin we get back up there. We got a soda. I'll drink that now. We're a little bit low on thirst. Okay. Um, we searched the backpack. We did not search Mr. Corpse here. Flare shell. Rifle round. Maple syrup. All good things. All things that I will use eventually. Only one feather? Yeah. Maybe the feathers for this guy are actually up top. Like, somewhere on those ledges. Can't get them. Can't get to them from there. There's a lot of firewood down here. I'm gonna have to leave something behind on our way back up. Okay, so that's what's here. We are getting kind of cold. With all this firewood, I could start a fire. Hey! Another feather farm. Let's see what we got. Is that a hoof? Yeah, that's not a feather. Oh, here they are. Why are they all right here? Just one fat crow sitting on that piece of snow. <laughs> Shaking all his feathers loose. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we're getting toward the end of this. I don't know how far this goes. But I'm getting cold. I might start that fire soon. I'm not going to sit here and tolerate hypothermia risk. I'll lose so much health. I'll have to burn a match here. 
I don't think the sun's gonna come out for us. Not that lucky. I wish there was a nice little cave area that I could start a fire and not have it blow out. Um, or maybe like the weather warm up just enough. We're only at negative six, you know? Alright, we got some bridge debris down here. Reclaimed wood. Oh, there's like a supply crate. Supply bin. <laughs> there, there really were supplies there. I didn't expect that. I think this is the end of our adventure. I don't think we can get through here. Yeah, this is it. Maybe I can. Maybe I should have a little bit more adventure spirit. Let's see if I can get up around here. Maybe glitch through. Oh, there's my hypothermia risk. I don't think I can glitch through this. I don't think I want to. Okay, well, if I was going to build a fire, I mean, I guess this is a good place to do it. It's surrounded by different areas so maybe right here what are the odds this fire would blow out we do have accelerant to use maybe it's maybe now is the time or I could just light the torch like a normal person I'll just light the torch I'll, I'll behave normally all right we need to warm up so let's put a fire here we could probably do the cedar. Or we have a bunch of sticks. Those are probably higher priority to burn. Yeah, we got 15 sticks. That'll be enough. We can do that. Now, I don't think I brought any cans with me to make water, which I kind of kind of need water. I don't know. It'd be nice. Right, we can save this for later. It's probably still like 45. Um, let's get some more on there. No cooking pots. Well, what do we have? I guess we could... Eat up the tomato soup. How much hunger do I have? Hold on. Uh, I got enough for beans. Let's see. What's the lower percent? This one? Yeah. Okay. We'll heat that up. So we are warming up. One degree. <laughs> That's good enough. Good enough for now. Um... Yeah, I could, I could drop these, I guess. Warm up my coffees, put them in the thermos, save them for later just in case. We might want some coffees just to get up that rope. Cheaper, cheaper price to pay than to have to use a stim or one of my go energies. Although, it's at 11%. I might as well use this thing, right? All right. Two minutes on that, a couple minutes on this, an hour on that. Hmm. Thoughts? Thoughts? I think I just take my things and I go. Let's put the... Let's load up the thermos while it's still hot. Alright, we got six coffees. We got a bunch of... things. Go ahead and just pull torches until this is done. We'll bring our torches with us, or at least some of them. I guess maybe we'll leave some of the we'll leave some of the dumbest stuff right at the bottom of the rope climb. And we'll try to drop until I have like 48 or not 48. Like a couple extra kilograms of carry weight because are we still getting cold? Mm. All right. Well, let's fix that right now. Let's eat the hot soup or beans. <laughs> and then we can have a hot cup of coffee to warm us up if this doesn't work for too much longer. So I'll just drag all my stuff back toward the rope climb. There's not really a reason to come back down here unless I wanted to collect cattails. We got everything. We got them all. Where do I want to go? Maybe around? I'm not interested in running right now. I think I will have a coffee before the climb. We'll see if we can make it to that ledge. I feel like we will. We're, kind of, we're trying to push our carry weight limits, though. Maybe I should just have the go energy and try to, like, climb all the way up it in one go. I kind of want to stop at that ledge and grab the firewood, though. It's right there. It's good firewood. We pay good stamina to collect it. Now 
I guess the weather's improving enough to have uh, crows come out now, so that's nice. We like that. I don't think we're going all the way back to the cabin today. I think we're going to have to go back to the whatever place. What do you call it? The maintenance yard. Yeah, there's enough feather farms down here. I might as well leave the rope, and we'll just see if there's one in the cave once we get back up to the cabin. I could go the long way around to the cabin, too. Uh, open up that gate and go in that way, the way we did the first time, before there were ropes to climb. But I did deploy two ropes today. That's not bad. I wonder if there's anything by this waterfall. I wonder how, how long I would be curious if I never checked. There is a cairn. Let's see what it says. Ah. He was here with his sister, Natalie. 29 of 100 and something. I forget. 165? Is that right? Nobody check me on it. I have no idea. Um. Okay. I need a new torch. Grab that now. What do I want? I want a nicer one take like this one or wait no I'm gonna be figuring out what I'm dropping let's take this one and then I'll light another yet another torch after this numbers numbers should scare you numbers scare me too um let's see mm, there's 10 good torches all right what can I drop so I've got two sewing primer books that's pretty cool we're gonna bring this stuff with us let's get rid of the yeah let's get rid of the wood that's not that good is there anything that's absolutely useless though? Like a can of spray paint or like, no, it's just the wood. All right, let's drop all our sticks. Let's drop this stuff too. I mean, maybe I should sidestep a little bit. Here we go. Let's drop all of this. Dang, it wasn't enough. I guess let's leave the cedar. Is that really what I'm doing? I guess that's what I'm doing. I could leave more torches, but that seems silly. Oh, I can do I can do this maneuver. That'll get rid of the oil bottle, so that's point one. What else? No, I'm bringing everything else with me. All right. Yeah, I'll bring the cloth. It doesn't matter. All right. Bye, bye, cedar. Yeah, I'll just drop all three. I'll drop this. Grab one more torch. And then I think we slam the go energy and try to go up. Yep. That's what I think I'm doing. I don't... Yeah, I'll get some coffee on the other side. Let's do the energy drink. That was quick. Alright, fatigue reduced. Let's go. Oh, come on. Do I still have my crampons on? I do. Okay, okay, okay. We're warming up now. That's nice. A blizzard. I didn't leave all of my wood behind. I've still got coal. Jump up on the ledge here. Let's see if I can pick this stuff up or not. Yep. Get back on this rope, and we're almost there. Come on, energy drink, don't fail me now. Why am I why am I getting cold again? Okay. Oh, it's because our closeness to the wall and the protection from the wind. Okay. Alright, so I have fire. Which is nice. I could go to that cave. I could go to the bear cave and sleep there. But I don't have water. Oh, I can make water. Warming up expired. Man. <laughs> what is... It's zero? Well, then I guess I'm not worried about getting cold. I'm gonna run out of energy here in a little bit, though. weather doesn't seem to be super cooperating. I'm gonna be... Oh, man. Please don't put out my fire yet. Please? Dang it. It's alright. Just another match. Heh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, snow is, you know, it can make blizzards happen. It happens. Alright, where's the... Alright, right here I want to make a fire. So let's light that torch again, I guess. I need water for the night. I don't know if the blizzard's going to be more than one day long, so I guess we're just going to burn through some matches. This is okay. Now we do have some firewood. Okay, let's put it about there. We do have a we do have sticks. We got two sticks. We'll start with a stick. We'll throw the cedar on there, and then I don't know. The sun can cause sunny weather. True, this is true. I've heard this before. It's so funny to think about like the perspective of the sun. The sun has never really gone down or up relative to the. I guess like. What do you want to call it? Like, we're just spinning around on a rock in space. Like, is it? Is the sun going up? Is it hiding behind the clouds? So there's my headache. And the other the other foot drops, or whatever the saying is. Water time. That's what it is. And maybe I cook this stuff. Yeah, let's just do it. It'll warm me up, and I want my cans back, even though I'm losing my ability to warm up with tomato soup when I sacrifice it. But everything gets sacrificed eventually, right? The sun doesn't exist just like birds. True. Alright, let's Am I hungry enough for soup? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's try it. Yay, another can for water. Also water. I don't think I have enough to drink 0.13. Oh, it healed my headache. Water heals headaches, confirmed. I'm just gonna leave that there until this is done. What else to do? I could drink my coffee. Ugh. <sighs> I mean, this look. Oh, what in the world? What's what is happening here? What is this? Why is this possible? Why is that? <laughs> devs, devs, what's going on? <clears throat> well, so if this is the bear cave, having the bearskin bedroll is kind of funny. There, we've got water. Now what? Now I just wait for the blizzard. We're kind of tired. We used a lot of our uh, energy in all of that nonsense. I guess let's check our map. Let's double check. So we're hanging out here. We got the memento cache. We now have a rope climb here. We never mapped, but there is a rope climb here. We didn't bother mapping this area, but we know there's a bunch of corpses down there. We need to go to, like, this bridge and do this again. And get back to the cabin. Then we can map, like, from here. And we can map over... I don't know. I, I thought we'd maybe find, like, a Polaroid or something, but we haven't. We haven't found anything. There's also this, like... So the, the lake is, like, here-ish. And then it goes back here, and I know there's a cave that I've stayed in back here. One or two. There's, like, there's, like a cave or something back here. And then it circles around to, like, I don't know, somewhere over here. You can get back somehow. That's the part of the map we haven't uncovered yet. I don't know how it looks, because I haven't actually mapped it. I was just thinking about how, like, humanity, like what is it really? It's kind of just a made-up idea. Because we're basically just trillions of microorganisms all collected together that result in some sort of strange world that exists as a human being. I don't know. Like, when you try to draw the line, like, if you want a hard line of what is and isn't human, like, if you shake off a little bit of skin, is that stuff human? You know, like, 
If you cut your hair, was that human? And so, like, how much can you remove and still be human, right? These types of philo philosophical questions, like, um, you have a pile of sand, but you remove one grain of sand. How many grains of sand can you remove before it's not a pile anymore? Is two grains a pile? It's like the word pile. Does it mean anything? It's just like a rough idea. Like, go make a pile over there. Like, you know. It only it only conveys, like, a, a rough meaning in a context. It's not... There's nothing true about it. There's, there's no... There's no reality to it. It's just a... It's just an idea that's useful to a certain process. And it's really the same with humanity, right? It doesn't really exist. It's just an idea that's useful to a process. But when you consider that it's a, a, a word in human language, then you kind of have to interpret it in the context of human society, which is, I guess, a fair take, but... I don't know. I think I need more coffee. At least three grains. Okay. <laughs> now we know what a pile is. So, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm just waiting for the fire to go out while making water. We're not tired enough. I mean, I could sleep and then just go out during night. Ooh, how much firewood do I have? So, these logs are two hours each. I could get... I could get a few hours of sleep. And we're warm enough here, actually. Let's... Let's go a little bit further away from the fire. Maybe here? How warm are we? Negative nine? I could sleep here in my bedroll of 0.7. Or right here. I could sleep about here. I don't need more water. There's already two hours on the fire. Let's see what I can get. Let's just burn all our wood and see what happens. Maybe we'll be able to take a fire with us when we go. Take my cans with me, too. I don't want to leave them for the bear. He doesn't deserve any. Okay, so how long did we have on the fire? Six hours? I try and sleep for six hours. Oh, I'll bet the heat of the fire went up. Oh, not much. How about here? Eight. There we go. Let's try six hours of sleep and see what happens. Did the blizzard pass? Or is it still going on? It's still windy out there. We still have another three hours on the fire. Let's go ahead and take those. How hot is it? It's nice here. How about here? There we go. Three hours? Deal. Alright. Another blizzard? This is atrocious. Now I'm out of fire. Uh, I've still got an hour left. I'll bet I can squeeze two hours out of it if I sit over here. Time to drink some water, though. Um, before the fire goes out, I should heat my coffee back up. Let's do... I'm gonna gamble it. Let's say... I'm, I'm betting that it lasts for more than two hours. Um, negative 12. Negative 11, negative 10, 20, 9. Oh, that's that's perfect. We can do that. Two hours. Go. Is my fire going out and am I hypothermic when I wake up? That's the question. I think it'll last because I'm kind of chilly. Alright, let's pick that up. Hey, the fire's still there. We do have a piece of coal we can put on it. 40 minutes left. Let's go ahead and drop our coffee. Just warm it up. Uh, food? There it is. Well, we put them in the fire, but that's okay. We're done sleeping, that's for sure. Oh, part of it might have been that we woke up before the two hours had fully passed. Yep, that might not have been two hours. That might be just an exaggeration. Alright, coffee's warm. 
We don't need coffee right now, but when we do, in a little while. I guess we have enough wakefulness, right? We have enough rest. We could just go out in the blizzard. And we're not gonna have a fire with us, but we can go out in the blizzard. We know that if we hang out, if we like trace the wall on the left, we're gonna find the rope and we can climb that. Also, am I still wearing my crampons? Yes. Switch to my insulation for a second. And then we can get back to the cabin. And maybe after the rope climb, we'll want to sleep for a little bit. I don't know. We got 13 minutes. Grab a couple of really bad torches. Okay. Well, it's fine. I'll just drop those here. Wait. They're not weighing us down. Alright. It's going to be really cold. So I'm going to leave my insulation on until we get to the place. Alright. So I don't want to lose this hill on the left side. That's going to bring us where we need to go. I need to hang out here. Man, it's a chilly one. Let's weather check. Uh, air temperature negative 55, wind chill negative 35, feels like negative 50. It's pretty cold. That might be among the coldest of temperatures we've seen in the game so far. I've seen the air temperature get down to negative 60 in Forsaken Airfield. That was a record. Alright, let's put on the crampons so we get even colder. Um, and I guess we go up. Now this isn't a super long climb, and then we can just jump into the cabin and we'll be okay. But yeah, this it's not a long journey. I feel like we're we're justified here. I feel like that climb was justified, and now we've lost. We can sleep for a couple hours. Better run. Can I go over this? Ooh, we can. So we actually didn't even get hypothermia risk in that adventure. Let's um, let's find our way upstairs, sleep for a couple hours. I could just throw the bed the bed roll down right there, but I'd rather not use it. See, the beds have infinite. Oh, that's the wrong room. That was the wrong room. Is this a bed? Not a fine. I did it wrong. My bad. Wait, is this a bed? Ha! Ah, never mind. We're good. Called it. Knew it. It was planned the whole time. Just sleep as long as we can. That'll warm us up. And then we probably need to do a little bit of mapping before moving out for the day. So let's... I don't know. Oop. Let's fall down the stairs. What's funny is you can't hurt yourself going up and down stairs. Unless you, like, sprint off the end and fall. But... Now we've got a bunch of water, too. Do we have extra water here? No. I'll just take it all with me. No reason not to. Okay. So, we didn't find any Polaroids, which means... Wow, what a nice day. Um... I mean, it's chilly out, but let's just map... Um, where do we map from? I think, there's that wolf. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Can I go up this? Oh, that's blocking me. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's uh, high enough. Okay. So this is probably the best area to map from, right? Ooh, nice. Hunting lodge, vehicles, deer carcass. No mention of a moose. We got the climb there. We got that. Is that a moose? Is that the moose over there or is that a dead deer? That's the dead deer. The moose is not currently in the area. Oh, he ran away from my bearskin bedroll, I believe. Oh, <laughs> we scared him good. Alright, um... 
It didn't say that there's a pond here. Alright, since he's on the other side of the lake, I'm going to see, before we freeze, if there's any sticks over here that I should pick up, since there's not a moose right here. Ooh, saplings. Alright, since there's not a moose here, yet, I'm just going to look for some sticks. There's one. We're getting kind of close to that wolf. He looks big from here. Oh, there's a dead body over here. Maybe I should start that fire. Oh, that was weird. Oh, that's a weird ridge for a frozen lake to have. Oh, there's an arrow in this deer. It's broken, but that means free arrowhead. Nice. Oh, that's not a that's not a feather at all. Does this guy have a bow? Is that what that is? I guess that makes sense with the arrow now. Let's do this. There he goes. Be curious. Be a curious wolf. And sprain risk. And we're about to get hypothermia risk too. Mm, let's do this. Go that way. There you go. Ooh, a feather. I didn't even see that. Alright, we're not going toward the wolf. I should have probably picked up those stones. Oh well. I'm assuming there'll be some more. Let's get the saplings. And then get back to the cabin and break down a box or something. I don't know. Yeah, a few risks. But I have full health. Like We can, we can play a little bit risky today. We're feeling alright. There is the chance that the moose will spawn in. <laughs> that would be risky. That would be... That would be a bummer. Broken ribs would be a bummer. Even at full health. <laughs> Especially since I have uh, interloper settings for animal struggles and all of that. I guess I can bring this in. Whew. That made us heavy. Alright, we'll put the battery on the table or something. We got a bow, we got some arrows. That's fine, I suppose. 75% survival bow. Okay, cool. We'll put it by the rifle, just cause. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe I just need to drop it on the ground first. There we go. Um. Uh, maybe on the bowl? I don't know. This isn't working out. <laughs> okay, th that's where it goes. I'll probably break that chair down at some point. And then what will happen? I'll lose the bow. Okay, fine. Um, I'll just put the bow inside the container. I don't know what's happening with the bow. The bow isn't working. But that's where the ammo is going to go anyway. Uh, I guess we can break down that broken arrow while we're waiting to warm up. That's one thing we can do. Yeah, the bow doesn't bow very well. I don't know. It's probably just a little bit cold. I don't know if I want to leave one bullet behind. I'll probably use it on the way out. But the only reason I brought this hatchet is so I could break things down in here. That I couldn't break down without a hatchet. So like, I don't know. This bench, right? Like, this bench just gets in the way. Like, what is it even here for? I guess it could be a shelf, but... These planks, for sure. They could go away. They're not serving any purpose. It would be so funny if there was, like, a hole under here and I could just, like, crouch and, like, fall into the basement. Oh, there's wood here. Do I have any more on me? No. I have sticks, though. We'll drop a couple sticks. We do have the books we could read. We're almost warm anyway, so it's a it's kind of a silly point. I don't need this hatchet then. Let's just drop it. 
There is the fact that the sun's really bright. Where do I want this hatchet, really? Let's put it here. That's a pretty obvious place, right? Is it more obvious if it's hanging off like this? Perhaps. <laughs> oh, we can drop the arrows and the feathers in here. Uh, feathers. Oh, I forgot I was carrying um, maple saplings. Let's drop those too, so they start curing. And then I guess I don't need that cloth. I don't know. I should probably carry some cloth with me. Oh, and I don't have a Go Energy anymore. Did I leave one back at the back at the garage? I believe. Um. Okay, I'm warm. Let's go map. Dang, not as nice out. I wonder if I stare this way if the wolf can't spawn. I wonder if he can play peekaboo with like a tree, like if I do this and then he's there. So there's this thing that happens in the game where the animals don't really spawn if you're staring directly at where they would spawn. But if you do something like this, then it gives them an opportunity to appear. Ooh, I saw a stick. And I'm not sure how it works. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Okay, so the moose could be over here. So could the wolf. Like, they don't have to be on the lake. Oh, there he is. Is that... Oh, that's a rock. Okay, well... You never know. Let's get warm. And risk ankle sprains. I think I want to climb onto that hill and map from the top of it. That's like the next main spot to map. Or possibly at the top of that rock. Maybe both. And I think the safest way to approach it is to go around to the right. Make sure there's not a moose <laughs> right in my face. There, this is safe. Now we're safe. Oh, so there's the cave, it's not very far. Those uh, icicles over there. I feel like the moose is back there somewhere. Nope, that's just a stump. Okay. Well, so here's a cave. I guess let's see if there's a, a rope in there. And then there's that path back there, and I don't know if there's another cave back there or what. Rose feather. Oh, I didn't even see this deer. <laughs> I saw the feather before I saw the deer. Weird. Okay, so there's a cave here. Let's map. I don't know, right here. And then we'll warm up in the cave. We've got three more pieces of charcoal after using this one. Yeah, there's our cave. There's our deer carcass. Yeah, so if we can map on one of those hills, I think that would be good. And then wrapping around this way. So it looks like the path kind of comes this way. Not enough sunlight to start a fire for free. No. Okay. 
So we need to warm up slightly, but this cave should provide an opportunity for that. And there's a guy here. Hi. Why is he so snowy in a cave that doesn't have snow in it? Did he crawl in covered in snow and just die that way? Or, like, how... I don't get it. I don't understand what happened. Another rifle cartridge, though. Thank you. Thank you. His pet snow. Maybe that was, like, what's remained of, like, his blankie. He's like, maybe if I cover myself in snow, I can warm up. And he was just, like, covered in snow and, like, most of it melted, except for, like, what's on him. That was his snow shelter. <laughs> he tried making a snow shelter, but he wasn't good at it. Um... Man, that's rough. I guess I could read my book for a minute. I don't know what else to do. I could sharpen my knife. That might be enough. Yeah, we're warming up. And now our knife is at 92%. We could sharpen it again and be totally warm. But we're pretty much warm. We'll come back in for more warmth later. Let's drink some of our water. We're carrying, like, more than two liters of it, so... Can't justify not drinking <laughs> it sounds like an alcoholic thing to say um ooh, there's a maple sapling right here i didn't even notice that i'll grab that on the way back um i suppose this is the way back now we didn't see a rope so i can't really i guess i can go that way i'm gonna get ambushed by a stupid wolf i know it let's drop these sticks off in the cave is there, like, wood down here? No, not really. Not real wood. Fake wood. Okay, yeah. Let's drop off the sticks. Um, then I'll go down there. I feel like there is going to be something waiting for me, so... Maybe I try killing it with the flare gun. Yeah, that sounds semi-fun. Alright, where's the heat? Right there. So the sticks could go right here. Oh, I didn't realize I was carrying that much um, firewood, too. I forgot that I picked that up. We can leave it in this cave. Nice in case we get pinned down by a blizzard. Um, yeah, let's grab, the, let's grab this. I think for science, let's see if it's possible to kill a wolf with a shot from this. So if we get a wolf, I'm going to fire this at his head and probably miss, but we're going to try. Also, I think I remember needing a stone. How many do I need? I need two. Lucky me, there's two. I don't know if there's going to be a wolf down here. I don't know if I'm going to decide to do anything different if there's something bigger than a wolf back here. I guess I still have to fire the gun. Wait, is it is it actually just like bright enough to build a fire now? Hold on. Because I guess that makes more sense. Yeah, okay, fine. Guess I'll try to do the smart thing. So apparently it cleared up. I'm just gonna take a torch because that way I don't have to burn extra shots. Because fire is more renewable, I guess, than a flare shell. Easier to build fire than a flare shell in this game. It might be impossible to build a flare shell. I feel like you should be able to, though. Like, how hard would it be? If you can make ammo, like, if you can make gun rounds, you should be able to pack a flare shell full of, like, a little bit of gunpowder, and... I don't know what special kind of sauce you need to get it to burn brightly. That's probably not available in the game, but... <laughs> I don't know. It might be difficult. I don't know. I've never made one. I've never even made a, a working firework. I don't know how hard that is. Is that a cave? I'm supposed to be mapping. Um, I think I'm just going to go to the end of this. Because I think there's supposed to be a rope climb at the end of this. And then I'm just going to map that. We'll see. A wolf might change my mind. I don't know how I'm going to map. Are those birch saplings? Hold on. I'm going to need to change torches here pretty soon. It's a nice day out. Only feels like negative three. 
<laughs> to eat some Mexican food. I like spicy food. How did I get a bunch of torches that are like 23%? Oh, these are those crappy ones I pulled in that um, supposed bear cave. Um, I'm going to need a better torch in order to map. I don't think 23 is going to do it for me. There's like a bridge over here. That's not a rope climb. That's a bridge. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe this path is way longer than I thought it would be. It seems to be the case. I was going to bring the maple sapling all the way back to the cabin. Oh, wow. Maybe I should map right here. Hold on. Rickety footbridge. <laughs> okay. There's another sapling over here. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta get this sapling. Yeah. Of course we do. I also feel like my torch is going out. We're okay for now. This seems like a really nice place to map from, like right here. Hold on, this is where, yeah, we can map from right here. Let's get a better torch. Let's get one that's, I don't know. Let's try 28%. I feel like that might, that might work. We're a little cold, but not very cold. Oh, okay. I'm so glad that didn't fall completely off the cliff. I'm just gonna go right here. Map. I hope I get the bridge in my map. Rickety foot bridge. Okay. Let's check on that torch. This one? Uh. Hold on. Let's grab this one. <laughs> My dad grows hot peppers. My dad's way more into it than I'll ever be. He's, uh, he's got, like, ghost peppers and, um, what are those ones? I forget. There's other there's other ones that are like similarly bad. He just grows them, and he'll make like salsa out of it. Okay, we got some oak trees up here. Dude, there's way more back here than I thought there would be. What even is this? I guess I'll just keep going. Now we got a sprain risk. We're overburdened. Maybe I can light another fire and just pull torches. Torches are heavier than sticks, though. I'm gonna have to map again. How much coal do I have? I might need to light a fire and like make some water so that I can get some more charcoal. Ooh, this is a nice place for a fire. Is this the rope climb? Hold on. No. I guess I could try to map from right here. I might as well. Okay. Wait, how much charcoal do I have? Only two. Okay. Well, hmm. All right, let's grab a good torch. All right, now if I remember right, I'm going to have to drop it anyway. So I'm just going to go up to this point. I'm going to map. Maybe I'll face this way just to... It's... That's uphill. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. We're not cold yet. We're almost to the memento cache, actually. Maybe we should look at that. Let's see how much time we got left on this. Oh, plenty. We're fine. Let's see if I can find that memento cache. That would be a success. Lots of success today. Carolina Reaper, yes. Sorry that took me so long to look at. Um, that's actually it. <laughs> Wait, this looks like a place that might have it. Don't sprain your ankle doing it, though. What is all that? Oh, acorn stuff. Okay. This is so much of a better place to map. Okay, so there's a dead body somewhere over here. Uh... I don't know. Time to find out whether or not the feathers are up top, I guess. There's the rope climb. The cache must be down there. It's not up here. 
I feel like this would be a really good place to map from, but let's go all the way to the rope climb to map it. And I'll need another torch. But probably not until we get there. You're capable of killing any plant. Yeah, I mean... Just stop them from getting water. Usually does the trick. I wouldn't say that I have a green thumb either. I've never really been a gardener <laughs> of any sort. But my dad was always good at growing stuff. I don't know why. He just took a liking to it, I guess. It probably wouldn't be that hard. You just have to care about it, right? <laughs> That's the hard part. The hard part's to actually care. If I cared, and I, like, dedicated, like, time of my day every day to doing it, it would probably go all right. The problem is I get distracted pretty easily. Um... And then I stop taking care of the plants. And I guess that's just a prioritization issue, at least for me. That's how I see it. I see it as me failing to prioritize it. Alright, maybe I should start a fire. Yeah, where should I start my fire? That's the question. Maybe that back corner? Or back here? There's even more sticks. I'll probably put some water on, some snow in the pans, get it boiling. Is that a better area, or is this a better area? Alright, let's just do something. Something rather than nothing. Oh, I don't even need my torch. <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can give them too much water, too. That's the other thing, right? And you need proper drainage for the soil. Yeah, plants are complex. It's better just to plant them outside. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm a liar. But um, letting plants grow in their natural environment with other plants, not like all by themselves and everything. I wanted to... One goal that I had that I never really spent the time to do was to try to create like a um, some sort of like food forest all right let's map this this is my last piece of charcoal for now i'll just look up at the sky and hope that i map correctly hey we got the climb there so there's a memento cache somewhere over here i missed it i don't know where it is uh i guess it's back here Check on the water. Five more minutes. Let's see if I can find the memento cache in five minutes. I would guess that it's along this wall somewhere. I don't know if it's up there. I'll saw these down. It might be over on the other side of this hill. Yeah, I didn't see anything. It would be a box because it had a key with it. So it would be one of those black boxes. No. Maybe it's further up that way. I don't know. I guess I'll pull a couple torches. I don't know. I should warm up. Uh, let's put more water on real quick. I might leave it behind, but I need more torches than that. Otherwise, we're burning the really good ones. I kind of want to warm up just a little bit, so... How much time? That's fine. Let's do this. Alright, and then we just need to light something. Let's go ahead and harvest these while I'm waiting for the fire to die out. We should have a couple minutes. Alright. Six minutes left. We're fine. That's an interesting move. 
take the plants and put them into like a, a pet enclosure that's heated. Yeah, I think you could just bring them indoors. Oh, I forgot to check if there was any charcoal. Let's see if I can get one piece of charcoal off this thing. <laughs> I have no idea where the supply cache is. It might be down the cliff. It might be over there. Or it might be up on the other side of this mountain. Probably could have left my flashlight behind. We're doing alright though. Day 111. Will I make it to day 1111? That's the question. Let's use the embers to light this one, and then I'll just grab, oops. <laughs> Everything's taking so long to burn out, it doesn't matter. There it goes. I got how many? One piece of charcoal. That's fine. We'll bring this with us. I don't know where that supply cache is. It's gotta be somewhere along the outside. Oh, the wind's really picking up. And now we're getting colder. I didn't see any sort of cache out here. Maybe it's back up that way? I don't know, I'll check out my gun. How's it going, Noble? Welcome, welcome. I'm looking for a supply cache hidden back here somewhere. I think it might be on the other side. I don't think... Wait. Hold on. Can I... What is the texture of this mountain, though? Alright, I don't know. I have no idea. It doesn't seem... Wait. Oh, here it is. Ha! Ah, this would have been a great place to start a fire, actually. Alright, what's in here? What do we got? Expedition parka. No. Saplings. Okay. Alright, we'll, we'll take that. Saplings are good. I happen to have a bunch in my pocket right now. Uh... Dude, the successes are piling up for today. We've got the region pretty much mapped. We found all the supply caches. Um, we just need one more area mapped. And that is probably where the moose is standing, so we're going to be careful. But, yeah. I think we can leave that one behind. Oh, there's another good place for a fire. You would think. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Level up our fire starting skill just a little bit more. The weather's been super nice today. We're carrying entirely too much stuff with us, though. And I kind of expect... the wind to blow out my torch. I'm carrying four liters of water. I'll have to leave some in the cave. I don't need that many. Now that I'm carrying so much other stuff, too. I need food pretty soon. I don't want my well-fed bonus to go away. I feel like the wind could blow my torch out here. It's getting it's getting more and more windy as we continue. But at least it's still bright out. This is a rickety bridge, isn't it? <laughs> hey, not much is up. I'm just uh, heading back to my cave. Hoping that my fire doesn't get blown out. But if it does, the weather's or the sky is clear enough that I should be able to start another fire. 
I need to think about eating food pretty soon. Is that another torch? I could spend a night in the cave, I suppose. It's not so bad. Alright, let's toss that. Let's grab one new one. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I guess it got windy. I'm seeing negative 19. So, it must just be, like, gusts. Gusts of like 20 something. Lower 20s seem to blow out all the torches. I could just light another fire and grab a torch. Keep going. But I think I can make it all the way to the cave without one. We're getting heavy though. We have a bunch of wood to drop off and saplings too. I could leave the saplings in the cave. They'll, they'll cure just as well in there. It just means I'll need to make a cave adventure in order to get more bow and arrow materials for whenever I move to that weapon. We're getting kind of tired, but it's getting kind of late, so I guess that's appropriate. I guess we'll, we'll do it that way. Because I don't, I don't need anything. I have food, I have water, I have fuel. Like, here's a spot to start a fire. It's getting kind of chilly. I guess I'll try and start one more fire here. While I have it. It's too windy to start a fire. Okay. I guess I have to go all the way to the cave to start the fire. So, where is my cave? Not there. So, there's this hill right there that I want to map on top of. But I think that the moose might be hanging out there. There's another... Spot for a fire right here. You know what? I'm just gonna go to the cave. And the cave is right here. Definitely I can start a fire in the cave. Assuming there's an available spot. Maybe right here. Like this. Perfect. So we got sticks to drop off. We can start a fire. I guess I could put my cans back on it while we figure out how we're gonna get everything back to the cabin. I should go out and map. We can leave the sticks, probably. Take one with us, and then let's drop off these torches. Where's the burnt out torches? We can do that later. Did I grab... Yeah. I don't think it's going to do us much good to light another torch, because it's going to go out right away, but... We could warm up slightly. What else? I could leave water behind here. I don't really need to, though. We're not that heavy. Oh, all of these sticks. I, you know what? I can bring those back to the... <laughs> I can bring those back to the cabin. Grab this real quick. We'll try. Did the wind just stop? I doubt it. Did it just calm down? That's lucky. I'm not hating though. I'll take that. Uh, where's our bridge to cross? Can we cross these logs down here? You know what? That's a pretty big drop. I'm just gonna... Is there anything down this ravine that I should look at? I don't think so. Hey, a stick. Alright, looks like I gotta walk all the way over these logs. These are the bridge ones. These ones, these ones make the most sense. There's a cairn down there. Hmm. I don't care. But, however, 
Can I get to it and get back up? Potentially? No, I'm gonna twist an ankle doing that crap. I'll do that some other time. Let's try and get my mapping done before it gets dark. Make sure there's not a moose right around the corner. In fact, having a torch isn't going to help me at all against a moose. The flare gun might. The flare gun will at least potentially frighten it. Alright, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to build a fire right here. I'm going to put a few sticks on it. I'm going to grab my flare gun and take a peek around this corner to see if that loud noise making thing is actually a moose or not. Because I don't think it knows I'm here. And I don't really care about this torch. I'm just going to go around. Wait. I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's not back there. Dead deer. Okay, there's a dead deer over here. I'll check for feathers real quick. Try and go up this hill without. If there's a moose at the top of the hill, I'm gonna freak out. Okay. This would be the area to map from, huh? I don't see the moose. I see a Canadian flag waving in the wind. Let's map this area right here. I'll go grab something from the fire. I don't see. I don't see the moose anywhere. There's a supply cache here. Wait, what? Where? I don't see the moose or the wolves. Oh, I see a wolf. He's on the lake. Okay, let's go grab a torch or two. Two torches out of this? Deal. So we've got the area mapped. The mapping is done. I don't know where the supply cache is supposed to be down here. There, there was supposed to be some sort of supply cache over here. According to my map. Let's see. So we just mapped this area and a cedar limb and a fur limb and then a supply cache. So there's a hill. So there's the dead deer, a hill, and then supply cache. So that's like right here, right? This is it. I mean, where, where are my limbs? Like, there's a cedar limb, right? There's a cedar limb. Where's the fur limb? Here's more cedar limbs. No, there's a fur limb right there. So, okay, okay. All right. And there's another fur limb. Okay. So there's the cedar limbs, the fur limb. Maybe like here? Uh. Ideas? Anybody? Anybody? Did I get one on the way in? Okay, I need a new torch. I don't know. I'm trying to find this last little supply cache that's hinted at, at on the map. 
but I don't know where it would be. I guess it might be somewhere on the other side of this rock. I don't know. Bring this down with me. If I'm going to be scaling things, I should probably have my crampons on. Otherwise, that's fine. Um, I guess I'll just walk around this giant rock and hope that there's a little bin or something. I don't know. I don't see anything. I see the cairn. It looks like it might be... It's a very clear night, quite possibly an aurora tonight. Um, I don't know. Am I doing something weird? How did I get here? That's not the supply cache, is it? And the wind's picking up? Okay, well. And I'm almost out of rest. Like, we are fatigued. Maybe I should go back to the cave. Maybe I need to go back to the cave. Where is this secret little stash? I've been here. I just want to find this cache and then move on. Alright, let me get out of the wind here. My torch is totally not lit anymore. Okay. The wind's coming from this side. <laughs> there we go. Uh, where am I? Where am I sitting right now? I would be... Like, here, maybe? I need to go this way. This is the big hills, right? Like this is this is the hill that I mapped everything from, so it should be like right. But I already tried that. Maybe it's further that way. It's definitely not on top of the hill. It's on this side of this hill, right? Something like this. Let me just double check around this, Karen. Because like this seems right. Maybe somewhere around this fallen tree. I don't know. Am I stuck on this? Okay. I'm moving so slowly. We're so out of steam. Alright, I give up. I don't know where it is. I need to eat some stuff. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, that's hanging moss. I was like, what's that brown thing in the back? I thought maybe it was part of a moose. Well, I have no idea where the supply cache is. We may never find it. Hey, fiery birdie. I was looking for a supply cache over here, but I, I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna head back, because we're over-encumbered and pretty hungry and just tired. But the map said there was like a supply cache somewhere on this hill right here, I'm pretty sure. But I didn't see it. At any rate, we have the region mapped. Um, we have all of the memento caches found. 
it's probably time to move on. I don't know where that supply cache would be. I tried to coordinate it with, like, the limbs of... There's, like, cedar limb and fur limb and, like... I don't know. I couldn't find it. Where is my where is my wolf friend? I thought it's there he is. There he is. I wasn't I wasn't noticing him before. There he is. He's walking right up to the cabin for us. I think I'll go in the back door. No way. Oh my gosh. How did he spot us from that far away? I am done with you, wolf man. <laughs> Where would I be going next? I'm not sure. Let's check the world map. Okay, so we're not in this region. Oops. How do I make it go to... Um... Oh, here we are. We're in Broken Railroad, so I guess the next place would be Forlorn Muskeg. Yeah. Not a great place to stay. I guess there's some caves. We've been through that region already. And there's HRV, Mountain Town. I think next is Forlorn Muskeg. Yeah. Dude, yeah, you're right. I forgot about the, uh... <laughs> how ripe I was. Let's see. So what am I doing with my life? Am I carrying something stinky, though? Is that what's happening? Is it just me? I'm carrying myself in a stinky way. All right, I've got a bunch of stuff that I can sort out in the morning, I think. I've got so much junk I need to drop. All right, let's just get rid of it. <laughs> All right, first up is sticks. I know I'm carrying sticks. I know they need to go. Let's drop them. Uh, we'll take one for the for the road. Um, we've got some of these. We got these. We got some cured ones that we found in a cache. We'll drop most of this stuff. All right, what else? What else? Hmm. I don't need that. I don't need any of that stuff. I'll bring the extra flare shell down to the place. <laughs> To the what is it the garage the maintenance yard I think I'll just drop some of these torches well I can probably no, I'll break them down before bed um, is that really it I'm just tired like I'm that's this is the amount of stuff I normally carry I'm just too tired to carry it right now oh I have extra water I could leave behind I don't know I guess I'll put it here 1.9 is probably enough. Water for later. It looks like an aurora out there. Look at how bright it is. Let's just step out and see. I need to I need to eat some stuff. It is an aurora, which means there's aurora wolves and not a moose. But it's also very warm. I could potentially go sleep in the car. That might be fun. All right, I'm definitely going to lose my my bonus, my carry weight bonus here. Let's see. Let's just start eating stuff. I guess let's eat the dog food so I have an extra can. <laughs> this song, though. So if you are what you eat and I just ate dog food... What kind of situation does that put me in with the wolf? The other thing is this syrup. We found this on a dude, and I could leave it behind. Or I could take it with me. I might as well bring everything back with me. There's also the cooking pot and stuff. Dude, that's like all our food. <laughs> oh, man. We're good, though. Everything's fine. Oh, I don't need this lantern. It's an aurora. I can use this thing. All right. Yeah, all this stuff. I'll bring this down with me. This stuff, too. Oh. Did I just miss that when we were searching earlier? Oh, man. Look at all these. 
Would it be better to... Nah, I'll just bring it to the maintenance yard. How much am I carrying? A lot? Eh. Eh. Um, I guess I could toss this stuff in the trunk. Sneaking with a flashlight on. It will work. We're very tired. I cannot sprint. But I can do this. Alright. How long do you think we can sleep for and get away with it? Four hours? Oh, hold on. Turn the radio on then. Let's try four hours. Let's see if the aurora lasts that long. Or if it changes to a blizzard while we're sitting in the car. Radio's not kicking on for me. Oh well. We're still good on warmth. Um, let's try for another four. We'll be okay. It'll be alright. Uh oh. I don't hear the radio anymore. That probably means it's like cold. How cold? A little cold, yeah. Might need to drink some water soon. <laughs> no, we're doing okay. I think we're clean enough. We're like, um... Like, we, our body doesn't go bad as fast because we're actually like... like we're like food in the freezer. We're like preserved by the cold. Pretty sure how that's how that works. We might be freezer burned. Uh, I could probably get away with another hour. We are losing heat now. I might need to go back inside to finish this up. Oh, never mind. It's morning. And what a morning. Kind of looks nice out. Kind of looks cold. So we don't have much longer to sleep. I think I can get away with one more hour, and then we'll finish up our sleep inside. I'm going to hope this works. It might not. I might get a little cold and lose health, but either way, we should be able to warm up inside before adventuring back. Yeah, let's get inside. Where's that wolf? Oh yeah, that's that wolf. There's that wolf. I think we sleep for another hour in here before heading out. So do I want to try and bring these with me as well? Probably. Just something I'll have to remember to bring with me. But let's go enjoy the comforts of a bed. Maybe like that one. It's kind of a nice looking bed, right? Let's just get as many hours as we can. 12 hours ought to be good. And there we go. Fully rested. So, it didn't pass too much time. I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here. Um, I don't want to go too much over two hours today. And we're already at like an hour 40 or something like that. So, yep. I'll do a quick weather check. Um, the goal for today is to move on. Find a little base that we can sit down in in uh, Forsaken Air... Or, no, what is it? Forlorn Muskeg, right. I'll pick these up before I leave for the day. And we'll bring everything back down to the maintenance yard. Hopefully it's not overrun by wolves. There is a bear pelt. Is that the moose? No. Just some reeds. Oh, there's the wolf. So I was staring in his direction, and he's still here. I'll mess with that later. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> you couldn't sleep in 35 degrees Celsius. What is that? What's 35 degrees Celsius? 
I have no idea what that is. Isn't that like is that kind of warm? Isn't that like 60 or 70 degrees? I'm not sure. I'll look at a quick converter. Thirty five is ninety five degrees. Ooh, that reminds me of when I was out in the desert with the military. It was like a hundred and something and we lost AC because the base power got cut because some idiot with a anyway, so there's some construction people and they cut like base power. So we no longer had AC. And so we were just uh sleeping like naked, just <laughs> trying not to die. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty hot. It's doable. You gotta drink a lot of water. All right, on that note. <laughs> yeah, I can change the in-game unit settings. Um, but the thing is, like here, I'll just pull something up. So like, you know, this is 0.3 kilograms. This is 0.5 kilograms. This is 0.1, um, the rifle or whatever. This is point, This is three kilograms. The the one liter of water is is one kilogram. So point, this is 0.81. I guess there's a small discrepancy in the measurement there. Um, they're all nice round numbers and I like that. If I change the settings, I don't know where the setting would be. What is it? Accessibility? Metric, okay. So if I go this way, Now I look at the menu and it's all like stupid. 1.75, 0 0.55, 0 0.22. I, I don't, 0 0.66. It's like, okay, yeah, it is, but, and all of the, nothing makes sense. 6.6. .6. And then what's my, my 88? Oh my goodness. Where is he? Did he get closer? Oh, he's right there. Anyway, yeah, I don't like the... I don't like it being weird, like, thirds, like, 0 0.33, 0 0.66, and, like, all those weird things. Metric makes a lot more sense. It just does. Anyway. Alright, I should sign off and go do some things, some morning things, like having breakfast and things.